Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Root Solutions video. Today I'm going to be showing you how we can take a sketch and wrap that sketch around an object within Creo. So I've got a normal sketch here within my design. Uh, as you can see it's got open ends but once we've uh, taken this sketch and wrapped it around our object those ends meet up we've then theoretically got our closed loop. So when you're using the wrap tool want to make sure you've got a sketching coordinate system in your design. This gives the wrap a starting point when it goes to place the, the sketch around your object. So I've got one just here. The next thing is the overall length dimension. This is the most important dimension within the design. Uh, we'll ignore the others for now. This overall dimension has to equal the circumference or the perimeter value of your object. So that means when we wrap our object, our sketch, they meet up nicely at the ends. So we could enter this value in manually. We could just take a measurement analysis of our circumference and enter that value in. But if we were then to go in and make a change to our design, obviously that's not going to update. Uh, so I'm going to show you a slightly more stable method of doing this. So I'm going to OK my sketch for now. Uh, and what we're going to do in order to create a more stable measurement that we can utilize, uh, I'm going to take an analysis of our design. So I'm going to take a length analysis and measure the perimeter value of our cylinder. And I'm going to save this value. So I'm going to save this as a feature. Uh, we'll call it perimeter and hit OK. That then saves that value within my model tree. I'm now going to create a parameter that equals this value. So under Tools, Parameters, um, we're going to create a parameter, but to create that parameter, we're going to choose, uh, we're going to do that through a relation. So I'm going to say my parameter is going to equal, is going to be called a parameter, and that is going to equal the value of our feature in our model tree. So there's our value there. I'm going to insert that. So we, once we've hit OK, that's going to create a parameter with the value that's equal to our analysis. We can now use this value within our sketch. So I'm going to go back into my sketch. I'm going to edit my overall length value. And I'm going to type in the name of my parameter. I'm going to hit OK. This value will now equal the value of my analysis. So hit OK. With that sketch still selected then, I'm now going to choose from the editing group, I'm going to choose Wrap. Creo is automatically picked up on the internal coordinate system of our sketch, that's our starting point, and it's automatically chosen the solid geometry of our design. Hit OK. Creo has now wrapped that object around our design. So this is a very useful method for creating milling paths, or something along those lines. As you can see, that sketch has been wrapped around. We've used that to create a cut in our design. Um, so if you have any questions uh, regarding what I've just run through, or you've got any questions regarding something else that you maybe want us to create a video of, uh, please feel free to leave uh, those ideas in the, in the comments section, uh, and we'll get around to answering those as soon as we can. Um, so again, thank you for listening, and we'll see you again next time.